I'm Sylvia Clark, Senior Project Officer for Citizen Science with the Murray Lands and Riverland Landscape Board. I'm presenting on the Mega Murray Darling Microbat Project on behalf of the project team. Why citizen science and bats? Well, in our region and of South Australia, and I'm pretty sure in just about every other region around the country, there's little information about microbat species distribution. There's little information on their habitat needs. And although conservation status updates are needed, there isn't the data to do this. Despite this, there's very little microbat monitoring and research that happens across Australia. Out of sight, out of mind, perhaps. On top of this, awareness of microbats generally and their conservation needs is very low within the community and landholders. We're pretty sure citizen science might be able to help out with this. So building on some community engagement work by local bat experts like Jerry Reardon, we developed a larger citizen science project and were lucky enough to receive an Australian government citizen science grant. This was now a partnership between the South Australian Museum, the University of South Australia, who helped out with social evaluations in particular, Mid Murray Landcare and other landcare organisations across our region, and the Murray Lands and Riverland Landscape Board. So how did we do it? Well, so we didn't have enough information about bats and their needs. We purchased 30 Anabat Swift recorders and we put out the bat call. This was done by running bat nights across the region through our land care network. We also used other promotional opportunities. Through this, we engaged hundreds of people and they put up Anabat recorders on their properties. They also provided us with some habitat information through a BioCollect app or a paper data sheet if they preferred and provide us with a photo of their site. From the Anabat Swift recordings, we could look at the sonograms and work out which species were present. The landholders were then provided with a species list as well as some information on how to improve bat habitat on their properties. So how did we go in terms of data collection? Well, through the two summers that this project ran, we received over 3,000 new bat records. And this is more than all of the records combined since the year 1890. We also got a really good spread across the region. And there's no way this could have been done without citizen scientists. In terms of the habitats with the highest number of species, we found these were those tall forests and also the River Murray corridors. But even urban backyards and farmland had an average of four bat species, which was really nice that everyone who participated was able to have a bat species list for their property. We looked at individual species distributions as well, and this is just one example. This is the Myotis fishing bat. It's an endangered species in South Australia that was previously only known from two sites on the river. Through someone travelling with a houseboat down the river and recording each night as they went, we picked up four new locations for this species. The social evaluation revealed that people really enjoy being part of this project, particularly families. We also found that within the two years of the project, people were already making changes to their land management. For example, installing bat boxes, planting new trees and reducing their insecticide use. We were particularly keen to have people protect old trees with hollows, of course. We also spread the message. We wanted this project to go further than our region. We produced a handbook with all the templates and instructions for how to run the project. This has been picked up by the Mali CMA in Victoria, also a similar project in New Zealand, and there's a back project in Fiji as well. We produced a community report, as well as a technical report that went to the Department of Environment and Water for their conservation status updates and also to the Murray-Darling Basin Authority. And hot off the press, we have a publication in the Australian Journal of Zoology. And all of these are available on our website. This project has also gone on to inspire more people within South Australia to do bat surveys as well. So I'd just like to say thank you, and in particular to the Australian Government for supporting this project through their grant.